Tatitu. <gasps> You're taller than me. Of course, I'm a giant. You'll grow up, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> so, hello guys, my name is Vincent. And this is my lovely niece. She's called Shania. Uh, she's my elder sister's uh, first daughter, uh, Sally. She's the one who stays in Kitale with the other Boma kids. So today we're talking an evening stroll and uh, we have always been talking about Boma. She's always been asking us so many questions about Boma and we want to share with you some of the one or two questions that she's always bugging us with. So that's the first question. Okay. <sighs> Same as aunties. Okay. The first day you step foot on Sudan. Mm -hmm. Um how would you describe it? Because you go there too much times. Well, the first time in Boma, it's always a surprise <clears throat> for anybody coming to Boma. The first time you go to Boma, it will be a surprise. No matter how many times we describe it to you, it will still be shocking because the place is beautiful, the, the people are nice. I mean, uh, it's very different from the rural areas that I'm used to here in Kenya. I mean, you have gone to rural areas in Kenya, right? Yeah. To your grandmother's place. That is rural according to us. But when you go to Boma and the people tell you it's a rural area, it's rural more than rural, you know? So <laughs> that's the shocking part. It's just too remote uh, to describe. Yeah, I guess so. When we go, when I go to my grandmother's place, that's not rural. It's just like the city. Your well, grandmother's place compared to Boma, that's a city. Yeah. Because, well, in your grandmother's place, there's internet, probably Showers. there's mobile. Yes, the shower, <laughs> there's mobile connection, right? Yeah. There are big shops where you can still buy foodstuffs and you have a hospital, maybe in clinic. Mm -hmm. In Boma, such things don't exist. People have been suffering for many years. They still don't have very basic, you know, infrastructure. There, there are no roads. In your grandmother's mm -hmm. place, there's a road, right? Yeah, like this one. Yeah, there's no road there. Just, uh, you know, no tarmac roads, just trucks in the bush where vehicles pass. Yeah. Mm. Question two. <coughs> yes. <coughs> okay. Sam, as aunties, what do you like about Boma? What I like about Boma? Yeah. Uh, so many things, but uh, let me say two only. Right? Okay. Uh, two. Uh, first, I like the people. The mm -hmm. people in Boma, they are warm people, they are amazing people. I've had the most fun with them. I've had best friends there. I mean, I can't. Yeah, I've made some of the best friends in Boma. Can you imagine that? Like, uh, because there are people who lack a lot. Like I've always said, they lack medical facilities and uh, basic infrastructure. They like they lack enough food on a daily basis, you know. But these are the warmest people. You visit a house, they'll give you anything they have. They'll offer you the dirty water. They'll offer you, uh, you know, a log or a stone for you to sit down and they'll tell you stories laughing and having fun you know like they, they have no worries at all there's no stress for yeah. them so they make you realize that uh, life is really amazing you don't have to have everything for you to be happy to enjoy life so they just have that warmth that they transfer to you when you meet them and interact with them uh, the second thing of course i also i love i love also nature you know and one of my favorite places when I was there, like instead of taking these evening walks, when I was in Boma, I used to go to the cliff oh. because Boma is uh, on a plateau. So I'd go to a cliff and look at lower Boma, you know, the view, and the land stretches for thousands of kilometers to the horizon. You can watch the sunset. You know, the, 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 the locals will point out to you and they'll tell you the elephants are found over there. There's a river over there where there are giraffes. There are lions over there on that hill, you know. And it just made me to, you know, to be relaxed at the end of a tiresome day. I felt good just sitting there thinking about my family back home in Kenya, thinking about you in Kitale. <laughs> and just, uh, you know, thinking about what God has done, you know, in my life, in our lives to take us there, to take the good news to them, to bring change to them. And it was just a very relaxed um, atmosphere for me. So that's, that's what I like about Boma, the, the nature, the environment. Uh, it's beautiful, and the, the people themselves, they are warm, kind people. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Can I ask you also a single question? 
a simple right. question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> would you like to come to Boma and visit Boma one day? Yeah, I would. I love that. Okay. Are but, you planning? Yeah, I'm planning to take you there one time. Maybe you visit also the place so that you also have your own Boma experience. It's a unique thing. It will it will change your life, by the way. Okay. Yeah, it mm -hmm. will change your life. Trust me on that. And uh, you have interacted also with some of uh, the young girls and boys from Boma mm -hmm. at your home, right? Yeah. You don't have an elder sister, do you? No, I'm the eldest. You're the eldest. But you've grown up for seven years, right? You've yeah. stayed for seven years with this girl. Do you, do you feel like they're your sisters now? Yeah. Yeah, I guess when they leave me, I'll be really sad. They're really? not going to leave you anytime really? soon. Really? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> tell me about the experience with them as in um, growing up with them. What do you think Boma is like according to how you see your, you, you have seen your relationship with them growing up? They are your, like your sisters as you are seeing. Mm -hmm. So, we live with four girls and 11 boys. Yeah, 11 <laughs> boys. Right. So, I know much about the girls than I do with the boys because the boys came like 2016. Yes. Four years ago. Yeah, four years ago. So I know most about the girls than I do with the boys. And they know most about me than my friends in school. So they are very unique in their own way. They are like really good. They are friendly and well, one of them really knows how to draw. Yeah, she really knows how to do it. So I'm going to ask you one question. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so you you have lived with uh, some of these girls from uh, Boma in South Sudan for several years now. Yeah. How how do you see them? Like, they, they, you don't have any elder sisters, do you? No. I'm the eldest. <laughs> so, how, do you do you see, feel like they are, they have they have they have become my elder sisters? Yeah, they have become like my blood sisters. Yeah, we go to church together. They don't give excuses about it. They are very nice. Um, we even sleep together. Yeah. We talk together. We even go to school together. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. So I think from what I've experienced from them, can tell me more about Boma. I mean. Well, the yeah. children and the elders, I think they are very warm welcoming. They really love songs, I can see. Songs and dancing, yes, oh, they love yes, doing that. They love it. Yeah. And well, when I was young, well, they were, they were older than me, and I was really afraid of the dark. Yeah. Well, but them, they said just, in Boma, they just walk free, there's no thieves there. So it was really shocking to me because. I was really afraid of it, but then they're just walking, like they don't care. Yeah, because there are no street lights in Bo. The only is the fire, they, the ones they use for cooking, that's all the light they have. Yeah. yeah. And, well, they really have strength. <laughs> they are yeah, <laughs> they're they're strong, huh? Yeah, they carry like, um, what is it called? Jerry can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They can carry both of them, and they're really big. Mm. Mm. And they tell me children they are like my brother Hans who is seven years can carry a big one just like this at the head and is walking very freely. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and some of them undergo a lot of uh, family problems, so they have to start working early. They have to help with the family, you know, the family, the, the chores at home, very hard chores that people are not allowed to do here in Kenya. It could be taken as child labor yeah. but in South Sudan in those rural settings it's not child labor that's part of what the family is used to all the families do that they expose their children to really hard manual labor and it's okay with them yeah so yeah. I for once like Obama because when he goes there he brings really 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 cool stuff yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay so I keep going to Boma yeah I will keep Anytime on going to like. Boma and they'll take you there one day so that we also have the bomber experience. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so, thank you. Let's continue with our evening stroll. Yeah. Bye. See you next time. Share.
for me, not them.